Um, so one thing struck me about what you just said. Um, I've always heard it that I want to deliver value to the business, but you said, I want to deliver a team that is valuable to the business. So that's a very interesting nuance. Um, and it's very telling. So that's very interesting to me. So maybe let's play a little game or a little, um, imagine, you know, I'm a genie or you had a genie and basically that person said, okay, Hubert, you're gonna make uh, a brand new software org, whatever, whatever you want, I will grant you that wish. So, you know, let's just paint a picture. What does a Nirvana software organization look like to you? All right. Um, actually, you know, I have thought a bit about this. Um, and um, I mean, I guess at the beginning, you could think of it like uh, the, the way I've constructed my, my, my mental model of this is uh, ideally you just have one guy who happens to be a great user, a great coder, if it's a digital product you're thinking about. And, uh, and you know, he can do it all by himself, right? That, that, that's very simple. There is no communication overhead. There is great unity. Um, but then, you know, of course, you, you need to accept that actually, most likely the one who has the idea need the help of someone who knows how to build stuff, uh, for instance. And, and so already you start having, you know, very early, like when you think about it, there is this like, like a line, you know, that's going through, through the organization, which is the people who are, I guess, in charge of the business or have the idea, you could say. And, and, and own it. And then you have the people who can make it happen, right? And, then, and, and it's very interesting because in, in companies like Mark and Spencer, you know, you really have to read through the organization and realize that there is a non-technology space and the technology space, right? I'm not sure, um, and that's front, you know, the one thing that's uh, challenging is I'm not sure if we should, I don't know if it's great to say it like this. I don't know if you, we should accept it. Uh, what I mean by this is, um, yeah, because know. then, you know, what, what, what I find a lot is, Everyone is trying to talk about, oh, we should be one team. It's always about bringing it together. And um, actually, I see this even in modern architecture. I could come into that in a sec. But um, the, you know, there is a divorce, and then you try to, 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 to make it work together still, right? And um, so that part I'm still wrestling with, uh, and I wouldn't know even what to ask Jadini apart from, like, can we have a... <laughs> G dear Jenny, can we have one team? But uh, yeah, I would well, say, Gartner, I mean, you remember Gartner like 10, 12 years ago said there is mode one and there's mode two. Remember, like the different speeds, and so you're gonna have your 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 cool kids with their modern tool, you know, DevOps, and they're using Jira and GitHub, and then you have the other folks working on their own cadence and waterfall, and and then yeah, let's all get yeah, that's a hard, it's hard, right? Is that what but you're already in the technical space, right? So you, you with your, I'm even talking about the, you know, the, the stakeholder, the, the, for instance, you know, one thing we've done at MNS, which I think is really clever, but we in the way I look at it, it's, it's not how people would tell you the story in the company, but we, so we have the business unit, you know, they sell clothes, they say they sell um, furniture and they sell food, right? And, and there was this old IT department that was just, you know, keeping it running. And the main mission of the IT department was be cheap, right? That, that's pretty much the, the model we, we started from. Um, and then, you know, there was a creation of a, a CDO role, right? A chief data officer. And then um, he created a, a full data science group, uh, a, an analytic group. And effectively, the way I've looked at it is they have effectively split even further business unit and technology and they've managed to squeeze people who weren't exactly technical, weren't exactly um, pure digital, but they can be a bridge between the two worlds, so to speak, right? And it's helpful because you get the business unit to, to, to be a bit educated and, you know, you build this relationship and because we bring them data, it's a more balanced relationship. Like I'm bringing you insight, but I'm also coaching you into how you can think, you know, feature and, and a new type of customer engagement, etc. But it's funny because, and that, that's, that's okay, because uh, I think every company needs to accept you're not in a transformation, you, you're in transformation forever now. So I think that was a useful transformation, but now it's almost a bit in between. Like, you know, I was trying to tell you, okay, we start with just one man. Now we have to, the coder and the guy who had the idea and is very creative in his mind and, and very focused on the market. Um, but, but you know, now that we have a business unit that are a bit more educated, you're like, yeah, but now we need to transform again and maybe bring the engineer, the software engineer, like, I don't know, let's be bold. Like he sits 
with the business units and he's just listening in and, and you know coming with features and but, but fundamentally the more you scale this id the problem you have is um is a uh, you know, now software engineering and the cloud, all of this has become quite complex. So we don't have one skill set that covers the whole thing, right? So we actually now, I will introduce in the Nirvana model, uh, many tech teams and, um, and you know, because we have many tech teams, well, at some point we, we had this concept of, that's where I think, you know, architects, uh, architect in, 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 um, in many organizations becomes really useful. I, I keep telling the architects I've been working with, you are a coordination and collaboration function. You, you, we need to have one vision and you need you need to facilitate and, and bring that together it's but it, it it's it's um what's painful in in all this model i'm describing with the architect with the you know the, the digital and data layer at mns etc we keep having intermediate right and so you almost want to say okay but this intermediate they create overhead and you need you know project managers and all those things to try and still keep it together but i'm trying to go back to to the roots now and say um uh, the journey, the first wish for the journey I'd, I'd have is like, can we have injuring teams that are, that have a great sense of leadership? Because what I can do with this is I can say, okay, um, um, we, we, we have, um, so the, the, if, if the engineer can actually lead by himself a lot of things, what you get, and, and I'm talking about product teams, et cetera, yeah. more than just engineers. Yeah. 